Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Tim Turner. I'm here at Genesis Studio and I want to show you guys my favorite setup for shooting headshots. This is a one light setup that I use all the time and it's just one light bulb from the top and using a curved reflector at the bottom create a pocket of light, which is actually called clamshell lighting. I talked about this in my last video and I want to elaborate on it. I'm going to be using one light, which is Godox SK400, the version 2 and the reflector. I do have with me here Jasmine. If you're excited, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and let's get on with it. Today I'll be using the Canon EOS R with the 24 to 105 lens. That's my go-to lens right now. I'll probably be shooting at 105. Since we're doing headshot, I want to get as tight as I can. And uh, this camera and this lens combo does that for me. I have the trigger, which is also a Godox trigger. Automatically triggers the SK400 and um, any other light I use, all my lights are Godox, so having a Godox trigger just makes everything work together. I have the light boomed right in front of her. I think I'm gonna move it a little closer. Yeah, as you can see, it just uh, beams straight down. And then I have a reflector also in front of her that bounces that light back up into her because I wanna eliminate any shadows under her chin, also under the eye or the nose because those shadows most times don't make headshots look good, especially beauty headshots. When you wanna get clean, crisp beauty shots, always make sure you use a light on top and then reflect some light. You don't have to use a curved reflector, like I said, you can use a regular five in one reflector. Most of you guys already have this. So let's do some test shots and see how we do. How you feeling? I'm good. Good, good, good. Uh, my settings right now, uh, shutter speed one over 125, F4 and then ISO 125. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a shot. Just look straight in the camera. Beautiful. Oh, that's already that's already amazing. Chin up just a little bit and turn to this side. So let your legs face me this way. No, this way. Yeah, just right there, just that little bit. Yep. So I want I want your shoulder to give me a little. Yeah, right there. That's it. That's it. That's it. Beautiful. Oh, wow, that's amazing. I want you to chin out and down. Yeah, straight towards me. Yeah, right there. Down a little bit. Yeah, hold that. One more. Beautiful. Now, one thing I will do right now, which uh, I didn't plan to, but I think will also enhance this image. I'm gonna add another light on the floor with a blue gel. This will create a nice blue gradient behind her and just make this picture look really, just a little bit better. Oh, that's nice. Uh, if, you, if you see behind her, you, you see the images on the screen, there's a nice gradient of blue right behind her. That's caused by that light in the back. So just look up at the camera. Yeah. Um, you are facing me square on. So again, just a little tilt. Maybe we can do the other side. Other side? Yeah. Okay. Just a, just a tabby. Yeah, just that. Yeah, let your head be away from your body. You don't want to be mm -hmm. closed off. You just want um, some separation. Let me see your head down. Yeah, like that. That's it. That's it. Oh, that's it. That's it. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> when you're shooting beauty, something you always need to take note of is the catch light in the eye. The better your catch light, the more engaging your shot will look like. If the eye has no catch light, the shot looks flat. Always keep in mind whenever you're shooting, make sure you, you see a reflection in the eye from the light or from the reflector. I have something here, but I think we can make it look a little better. So I'm going to make an adjustment and then shoot again. So I moved the light a little closer and then just brought the angle down a little more. I like what you did. Let's do that again. So yeah, beautiful. Oh, that's, that's really good. Oh, I like that. All right. look, let's look towards that um, camera right there. Yeah. Eyes on me. Yeah, right there, hold that. Beautiful. Yeah. Run it down, yeah. Run it down your the side slowly. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. I love the head down. Yes, that that right there is sick. Beautiful. Also, um, just just um shoulder to the side. Just look up. Shoulder to the side. Yeah. So bring that. Bring the shoulder up. Your left shoulder. Bring it towards me. Yeah. Head back. I see the camera. So let your hands like almost like like you're running it across your face. Yeah. Come down. I see the camera. Oh beautiful. I love that. I love that. Hold that right there. I love that a lot. 
perfect. Yeah, I think got it? <laughs> I think we right. got it. <laughs> So that's what I have for you guys today. I hope you guys learned something from this video. Again, this lighting is called clamshell lighting. So if you want to do more research about it, I also test it out in your studio to let me know how it works for you. Leave a comment below if you have other lighting techniques you want me to go over. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Tim Turner. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I like that. Wait, go, go. <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? I know, right? I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I like that. I like that.